I'm Kerry Emanuel. I'm a professor of atmospheric science at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. And I study tropical phenomena like hurricanes and also climate, particularly the climate of the tropics. Um, if you look at the uh, history of this whole pursuit of the relationship between hurricanes and climate change, it goes back to the late 1980s when we realized that um, the thermodynamic limit uh, for this, the hurricane wind speed, which is something that's fairly robustly developed today, uh, must go up as you warm the climate. We've known that now for you know, close to 35 years. Um, and that's just what it is, is a speed limit. It doesn't say that storms, all storms will be more intense, but it, it, it is a definite speed limit for how strong winds can get in a particular climate. That goes up. So you expect to see more storms at the very high end. And there is evidence, principally from satellite inferences about hurricane intensity, that indeed the frequency of the high end events are going up. It's the high end events that are most destructive um, historically. So this is very worrying. We argue a lot about what happens to the low end storms, which dominate the count. So if you like counting storms, you're kind of out of luck. We don't know whether the counts will go up or down. Um, most, uh, most of us now think that probably they'll go down a little bit, but it's not particularly material because those aren't the storms that do the damage. So that's one place I think you find a very strong consensus among scientists who study the connection between hurricanes and climate that the frequency of the high end events will probably go up. More than half the damage normalized for currency changes and changing infrastructure that's been done in the United States by storms dating back to the middle of the 19th century has been done essentially by just eight events. So it really is the rare events, the Katrinas, uh, the Sandys, that do the overwhelming amount of damage. And your average run-of-the-mill hurricane will do some damage and be memorable in the local place that it affects but it doesn't really amount to a hill of beans uh, compared to what the big storms do.